Seoul in South Korea is definitely one of the best destinations you can visit this 2024. From breathtaking sights to incredible street food, Seoul has something for everyone. So in this video, I show you the best things to do and visit this 2024 in Seoul. Start your solo adventure at the Kyobokun Palace, a magnificent royal palace that dates back to 1395, showcasing the country's rich cultural heritage, and here you can marvel at the grand architecture and intricate details of this historic site. In here, you can also enjoy the daily changing of the guard, a tradition dating back to the Joseon dynasty. You witness the precision and skill of the guards as they carry out their duties with grace. The price to enter to the Gyeobokun Palace it is of only 3,000 won, that it translates to roughly 3 US dollars. Step back in time and immerse yourself in the charm of the Buchok Hanok village. This traditional Korean neighborhood offers a glimpse into Seoul's past with its preserved Hanok houses and quiet streets. These Hanoks are mostly made of wood and have distinctive design elements such as tile roofs, sliding doors and open courtyards. Some of these Hanoks date back to the Joseon dynasty, while others have been renovated and converted into cultural centers or guest houses. Buchok Hanok village is a popular tourist destination and attracts both locals and foreign visitors. It offers a unique blend of history, culture and picturesque views of Seoul's skyline. Many visitors enjoy wandering through the village streets, taking photographs and even renting the traditional hanbok clothing for a memorable experience. You can rent the traditional clothing for about 2 hours if you wish so and it costs about 15 US dollars, so not bad at all. There is also this photographer here in the village in which take pictures for everyone. I asked how much is it and he told me it is completely free. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess they're uh, trying to make visitors come and take pictures, which is a really good thing. Another must visit in Seoul is definitely the Chandeokun Palace, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, renowned for its fusion of natural beauty and architectural brilliance. This is a palace that dates back to 14 and 12, and it served as the primary palace for many Joseon kings and became the official royal residence after the destruction of the Gyeokbokun Palace during the Japanese invasions of Korea on the late 16th century. The incredible surroundings of this palace might look familiar to you due to the fact that an important series of Netflix Korea was filmed here, which is Old Kingdom. It's a mix of the Joseon Dynasty times with apocalyptic times. So in this series, during the Joseon Dynasty, there are zombies attacking the kingdom. So yeah, you can watch the Netflix if you want to have a look. So yeah, it is an important place where series have been filmed. So Another most visit when coming to Seoul is definitely the Starfield Library, which is located at the Coets Mall, and it offers a range of 50,000 plus books from all over the world and in different languages, plus 400 types of magazines from economics, politics, hobbies, depending what you're looking for, and it has spaces to relax all over the place. And also you got a coffee shop here, so if you want to enjoy your favorite books and have a nice and relaxed time here at the Starfield Library, definitely a must visit. It is important to know that it's free entry so you don't have to pay for anything. Either you come daytime or nighttime. It's really beautiful. At the nighttime they put some lights which make the books even more outstanding when looking at them. So I just double check and it's actually free to read any book. So you can take any book, magazine or whatever you want. Obviously you cannot take them home. So if you want to read anything you must read it in here. You could spend a whole day here reading your favorite books. And you got here also iPads. So if you like any electronic book you got also iPads to look through. So it is pretty cool and it's for free guys. Definitely, as I said before, I must visit. I mean, a picture here, it's uh, really beautiful. And apart from the Starfield Library, we also go here in the Coet Mall, this interesting sculptor. Here behind me is the famous sculptor of the PSY Gamna style hands, which became battle back in 2012 and was the first video on YouTube to reach over 3 billion views. Do you know how to do it? You got even here the overview of how to do it. It was installed back in 2016. And if you want to dance, you can even put the video here. 
Open Gangnam Style. So yeah, come and try your Open Gangnam Style skills here at the sculpture here in Gangnam, which was named obviously the song because of this famous district here in Seoul. Another must visit when coming to Seoul, and a must, really must, is the area of Myeongdong, which is very famous and popular to be a shopping district. It is in the top 10 of the most expensive shopping districts in the world, and it's that any high-end brand you can think of, it's here. But also you've got a lot of souvenir shops, massage places, and very important, you can find some of the best street food from all Korea here in the area of Myeongdong. Well, any street you go into, there are so many shops. I mean, I don't know where to go. Any street you go, there is a shop from different types of brands. Also, it is nicely decorated, as you can see the lights behind me. Um, as I said before, loads and loads of street food halls. I'm gonna go to one now to try something. By the way, behind me, we got this uh, police station here from McDonald's. And it gotta be like the coolest <laughs> and the cutest as well, because look, he has this uh, animation cartoons. Oh yeah, this is the police station. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so one popular Korean dish from the street food is this bread with an egg on top. What's the name of this? Erampa. The price is 2001, so yeah, not bad at all. Really nice. So it's called Erampa and it's Korean bread with an egg on top. So yeah, let's try it. Really good. I like it. it tastes almost like a cake, like sweet. Really, really like it. I will choose this as a dessert actually to put for a start. So, another thing to try and a must try is the traditional barbecue pork skewer here. The price is 8,000 and they made just right here with this fire on the grill. Really good. No way to try it. it, looks delicious. So, also here the sauces if you want to make it spicy, but I don't want spicy. <laughs> Kamsamida! Wow, so look at this. I'm so full already and this is just like the third dish. Wow, wow I love Korea already. <laughs> so let's try it. So good. So, so, so good. Mm. I love it. I love it. I will eat this all day long. So look, this is what is left from that uh, barbecue pork skewer. One of my favorites so far. <laughs> really, really good. Let's see what else we try here. It's important to note that Koreans, they keep innovating. Every time there is like a new dish or something that comes up in social media and becomes very viral. An example of this is something called croffle, which is basically a croissant and a waffle will have a sun. So it's called croffle. So very crunchy on the outside and moist in the inside. And I'm gonna try it now, but I have heard so many good things about it. So let's try the croffle. new taste for me. I thought it would taste more like a croissant. Boy, I actually taste like a mix of waffle and croissant. I don't know, it's difficult to explain, but it's really good. <laughs> but definitely a must try, I love it. Wow, some stalls they get really, really busy. This is the cue to, to eat uh, Korean chicken, the traditional Korean chicken with this delicious sauce. I cannot wait to try it. So finally, the way this over, I got my crispy and sweet chicken. So yeah, I guess this is like a very, very popular street food. You can see why it smells delicious. Delicious, so good, so crispy, sweet, a little bit spicy, but not a lot. Mm. I love it. It does come in different sizes. I took the small size because I'm really full. It cost me 7,000 won. You can get even the biggest one, which is 20,000 won. But I think the one for 7,000 won is more than enough. They serve it to you with teboki as a side inside. Like this sort of a crisp. It's really, really good. One of my favorites. Interestingly, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Street. Wow, I didn't know this. As you may already know, Seoul is also known to be the technological capital of the world and is that everywhere you go, including metros, train stations, streets, you see high technology, digital art museums everywhere, LCD screens, and here behind me we got the Hiker Ground, which is a place that showcases how it's done K-pop, 
videos so in here you can be your own k-pop star so yeah let's have a look it use xr technology and it's done by the korea tourist organization and most importantly it is for free so as you enter you got different floors of k-pop scenarios in which you can play and make a video you can even control what appears at the back of each scenario and control even the light even choose the music that you want really really cool so the first scenario is train wagon So it's really, really cool. In each scenario, you are the own star of your own film, movie, or music video. So in each stage, you can control the music, the colors, the speed of the lights, everything. Really, really worth that experience. I highly recommend that the hiking ground here in Seoul. So this is all for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and if you like to see more about Seoul, go and check it out in my playlist of South Korea. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video. Travel wonderful!